a long took a little long break for a couple of days. But you know, I saw a couple of movies. Movies that are good, but I just feel like reviewing them for the blogs. I mean, they come with some nice movies. I saw Underworld 3, by the way. Really good movie, by the way. It wasn't bad as I thought it was. A lot of people was bad mouthing this movie, but I like Underworld 3. I, to me, I like it better than 1 and 2. That's just my opinion. I saw Taken this week. That's pretty good. And I also saw The Grunge 3, which is the continuation of, of the American remake version, by the way. So, Grunge 3 was good also. And next week, I ordered um, My Bloody Valentine 3D, 2-disc edition, on regular DVD instead of Blu-ray because I did on the original re-release -re on regular DVD, so why not? And it's the same special features anyway, so a 2-disc regular DVD, My Bloody Valentine 3D, you can't go wrong with that. Just a little update on what's, what's been going on around me for now. And of course, a movie review. So here's a clip of um, Geisha vs. Ninja. Just had a US release a few weeks ago called Geisha Assassin. And that's one of the movies I wanted to get, which I finally do. And let me just say, um, Geisha vs. Ninja, or aka Geisha Assassin, it's also, it's like, it's, it's pretty much a simple movie. It's a revenge movie. Simple as that. And you know what? It's not a bad revenge movie. It lives up to the title. And it's an action movie from Japan. If you're a fan of One Shiba, One. On Shinbala, or Shinbala, the beauty, you know the bikini girl with the samurai sword killing zombies, or if you're into a Zumi, or Death Trance, or Versus, this movie's for you. Uh, what I like about this movie is simple, you know, I mean, it's about this samurai girl walking to a trail path, getting revenge on a father killer. With a good storyline at the end of the movie, it has a twist ending at the movie. It's not really a big deal of a twist ending, but to me it is. Um, action wise, the movie is fucking awesome. I love the action, I love the martial arts, I love the sword play. And not only that, um, the girl who plays the geisha, she, while she's going for revenge against this one samurai, she comes across against all these different characters that she has to fight against. The, each of the um, fighters she has to fight has different powers, different unique of fighting. And um, what's so cool about it is like a fucking video game. You know how you play video games? You pass from level one to defeat one master, then level two to defeat a second master. That's how this movie is. It's, it's a good. That's how good this movie is. It's like a a Japanese sword fighting video game movie. Kind of like I would I would compare it to Legend of Cage. I would say, in my opinion, I mean it's no Legend of Cage, but still, this movie is awesome, man. It's not bad. Um, you could rent it if you want, but I say own it. If you're a fan of Japanese action movies, especially when the action movies are straightforward, this is the shit. Like I say, sword play, boss arch, boss arch, geisha, a babe with the sword kicking ass, revenge, um, a lot of weird fuck characters she has to fight against, and, and the movie's good, you know, just plain good, simple as that, so peace, bye, and I'll be back for another movie.